Oh. So, um, I'm going to try to catch up. I was talking about um, some real shit, so. All right, black unity, why some people won't be unified, and because we all got our opinions, whatever. Let's forget about what I was saying, because that, that, that was like hours ago. And the crux of that is, within the black community, black people are so cu crucial of each other is because everybody's beliefs, everybody's different systems. It's almost like a tribal mentality. Like this tribe of people believe this way, this tribe of people believe that way, this tribe of people believe that way. But you guys and girls and everybody out there and me at times and everybody who think they don't, but some people do but don't want to, but they did anyway, whatever. We all think that things can be better and we all agree on that. It's just the little bitty points that we don't agree on. Now, when I left you, an old friend of mine called and, and you know, he's a plumber and, you know, in the union, ain't got no jobs and things are messed up. This is an older white guy, you know, and he's pretty much been in the family ever since I moved up here. You know, my father helped raise him, you know, because when I was in the hood, my father had moved up here. Things went down. I heard the story. I heard his side of the story, and I heard my mama's side of the story. And let me tell you, the things that are going on in the community still go on because it went on back. Get it? So, um, this white dude, he comes over, right? And we sat and talked, you know, had breakfast. And, you know, he's like, man, Lonzo, it's hard to get a job. Da, 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 da. And then he broke something down to me that I was, man, when I first came on YouTube, I said this a few times. He said, man, it's tough, man, because, um, you know, motherfuckers think, man, he said, motherfuckers think, man, just because you white, you, you got to have something. You, you know, you all this and that. And then I sat down and I told him, I'm like, yeah, man, it's because, like I tell you, the worst thing in the world is a poor white person. Because... I'll, I'll be honest with you because black people can't acknowledge a poor white person because all they have seen is white people with things. Therefore, this is just another white person. Not all black people have been around poor white people. That right there is also the same as saying there has not been a lot of white people to this day been around black people. To this day. To this day. So, there's a differential in people right there. And this man was like, the worst thing you can be is, is a, a poor white guy. I'm like, why you say that, man? You're a plumber. He said, I don't know nothing about computers. And you sit there and taught everything to yourself about computers. How come you ain't over here doing something with computers? How come you ain't over at the JC getting something done with computers? How come you ain't doing something with computers? I'm like, man, I ain't got the fucking gumption. To be honest with you, I don't have to get up and go like I used to because I have been defeated. I am, I'm used to hustling. I haven't had to hustle in like 20 years. Ever since I got married, I stopped my, my I stopped hustling. I talk a good game because the game is in me. And ain't no way a man should live as long as I have without, without, without. And he's like, yeah, man, duh, but I don't know how you do it. He says, man, I, I got the curse. And he knew my father. He knew my father. And he was he was with my father when I wasn't with my father. That's how much this man knew my father. My father raised him. He raised all them fools to be little hustlers. The white kids, too. You fail to realize the game with inside me. You know, People are so one-dimensional in their problems that they can't see other people's problems. But I tell you, don't worry about somebody else's problems. See what I'm saying? If I'm frustrated and worried about somebody else's problem, and I ain't doing shit about my own problems, how that look? How does that look? And I, and I see people like that. Black folks be quick to tell you, oh, such and such and such and such is Bubba. 
black people who have something, we don't ignore black people who don't. Now, white people who have something will completely not even see a hurting white person. Completely don't even. Did you hear someone begging for help, honey? No, no. Jeffrey, drive on. A rich white person don't give a fuck about a poor white person. Rich black people, poor black people, they criticize. They should get their things together. They need to do that. They, they need to do like I did. Black people with something criticize those without, and those in the middle trying to be cool and maintain are scared of the ones that act like niggers, the savage beasts within. The ones from Africa, the niggers. There won't be any unity until there's one common platform. That's for all people. That's for white people, black people. There ain't going to be no unity until there's one platform. Survival. Because we ain't worried about surviving now. If there was anybody on this planet worried about surviving, they getting on, getting up. Those who have it, they won't let you up. No matter what color you are. So black people out there standing on the stoop screaming about how black people is, I sit here and damn near watch that white man cry. Because that's how white people treat white people. They don't say it to nobody's face. But when he said, right now, times like this, all these rich motherfuckers are calling their nephews, their cousins, their, everybody a family to come work while everything is drying up and laying everybody off. That's the rich taking care of the rich. This white man that been to school, he normally clean shaven. He looked like a midget Grizzly Adams coming up in this motherfucker this morning. Clean shaving and shit. Hurting. White. Ain't got nothing good to say about his own people. But he ain't finna sit here on YouTube and do it. I'm like, hey man, why don't you get the camera out? You more than welcome to tell how you feel. Because people don't know how white people get treated. They don't know. Because they're all too busy thinking this person has got more than me, this person is better than me. And in the black community, this person got more than me, this person think they better than me. If I got a job and an apartment and you stand at your mama's house and, and, and your cousin's house, don't hate on me. If I got a woman helping me, don't hate on me. You a bitch, nigga. You ain't got man. Nigga, 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 nigga. Come on, man. I hate on me. Cause that white man. You think they got it all? Somebody can. Shit. They got it worse than us. Because see, white people assume black people gonna go get it. Mexicans is taking whatever they can get, and poor white people are expected to have shit. And no matter how many problems you got, and I got, and he got, and they got, ain't no problem bigger than the problem we have. There's no common goal for any human, any race. Ain't no common goal for us. Ain't going to be no peace and unity. It's going to be some of us can deal with some of them, and some of them can deal with some of them. These don't like them. These ones like here like these ones, but they don't like those ones, but those ones get along with those ones, but not those ones. There'll never be any unity until there's one common goal, survival. And that's got more to do with them being black and white. That's got one thing, one thing to do. That's got to do with you being too.